Hello. Yes, it means that I will be going to Reading and visiting Jimmy to watch the moon cover the sun. And it's not going to happen on the west coast again until 2071. So, I, w I wonder how many human sacrifices there will be during this eclipse. And if it will mean that the harvest will be very good. I mean, if we don't sacrifice enough humans, there will not be a good harvest. He knows what he's talking about. He majored in psychology at Chico College. That's what, that's what it's actually called. Just a Chico College on the, on the um, building. Like how that one says BevMo, it just said Chico College. Okay. See you later. We might see some weird shadows pretty soon. So we're up in the hills. This is we're right along the uh, the path of totality, which is like the optimal place to be during the eclipse to see complete coverage of the sun. So that'll be pretty cool. And we're just looking for a high point on this road somewhere. Like, or a clearing or something. Or some kind where, of clear area. Where you can actually view the eclipse and yeah. have a good... Because right here, by the time... It's about an hour and a half from when it's going to be completely covered. Actually, 5.11 is when it started covering it. So it's already started moving in front. So I don't know. You probably can't see anything with the camera. It's just going to be bright. But if you have a little piece of paper, we can put a pinhole in it and then use it like a lens on a piece of paper and you can actually see like the shadow covering it, that'll be cool. Huh. But I might, I might try that. But we still have like an hour and a half before it actually fully covers. So we're just looking for a good vantage point without trees in the way. So we're here at the, this area that we found. What? Oh. Talking to them. I didn't realize it. Yeah. So we're here at the place. It's got a pretty good view of the sky from here. You can see over there. It hasn't quite... Yeah, my camera's not gonna really see it very well right now, but maybe when it's completely covered, it'll see a little bit. And he's got a 600 millimeter lens. Hold on, I'm gonna go far away. Then you take a picture, and we'll show how zoomed in it is. I make it to the fence in 2.8 seconds. Can you? 1,000 watt. Yes, I can. Alright, All right, that's a good one. So now, comparison between how far away he is and how far away he can see me. To show how much zoom that lens has. And he's going to attempt to take a picture of the sun. That's what it looks like through some glasses. Hard to tell, though, what it actually looks like. That's without the glasses. That's with them. Yep. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. There's the eclipse. So far. Oh yeah, we're taking out almost 50%. Put this back on yeah. the car. Thank you. Yep. So that's what we're looking at it through. That's what you're looking at it through. Newtonian telescope. Pretty cool. Thank you. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, be careful with that. Yeah, I'm not looking at it. Okay, we're getting closer to uh, full coverage. We're about maybe 20 minutes away. And it's already started to like look really weird, kind of. It's, it may not be easy to tell on the camera, but it's like the sun is still up. But it, it looks like it's later in the evening than it actually is. You know what I mean? Like, it's just dark. It's just getting dark. It's weird. I'm going to try and take a picture with my camera, too. We'll see how good. I don't have a zoom lens on it, but, but we'll see how it comes out. Strange, isn't it, Jimmy? I think I can use this lens. 300, 300 should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Check what time it is. 6.07, so we have about half an hour for Less than that. total. Less than that. Less than that. And that's... 628, wasn't it? 
29. Sorry, what was the uh, time again? 29. That's how it looks, oops. 20 minutes. That's how it looks right now. There it goes. Pretty cool. Yeah, what I'm worried about is that I'm going to have to move this because of the uh, shadow. We're about seven or eight minutes away, and it's looking even more bizarre. It's really hard to tell because the camera auto-corrects for it. But you can tell the difference between light and shadow is less than normal. It's one way to tell. Normally my shadow would be a lot darker and this would be a lot brighter, but because the moon is, or the sun is about 95% covered, actually, you might be able to see, hey, that's one way to see it, Jimmy. Why the lens flares are in the shape of the eclipse. Oh. That's pretty cool. The green and blue shapes. Are the well, lens flares are shaped differently. Yeah, they're hard to Weird. If I can get the lens flares in the dark area, all well, over there it looks pretty good. Cool. So we're about a minute away. Well, we've, already, we've already got a ring. You can, yeah, you can see the ring and the lens flare right there. Take a peek, guys. Yeah. Just take a peek. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll send that's you. Cool. We'll send you copies of the. You have like a filter on your. Yeah, okay, there's a sun filter in this. That's cool. Yeah. Come in. Excuse me? Go ahead. Thank you. Can you get it through that? Well, it's not directly on it, but you, you see the ring wow. like at another <coughs> location. Right, I want to get a little picture. bit of footage in there too, because this, this will get video of it. That'll be pretty cool. If I get in the right spot. There it is. Kind of. I hope oh, that it does that it shows up. Oh yeah, okay. Fabulous, sorry. <laughs> I want copies. Yes. I want copies. Where'd he go? Alright, let me try taking a picture. Trying to get a good uh video. Yeah. Make it fast guys. Right, yeah, so. I got I caught some of it. Go ahead. Come on, hold stand still, Jimmy. Can you get, get a good shot of it through that? It's it's past the ring point now. It's bigger on one side than the other. Okay. Want to get the shot? So we got back from the eclipse, and there was an accident on the way home. It looks like somebody hit this guardrail, and actually went through it. Oh, look, you can see the damage on the trees. Some car went flew down there. That's not good. I wonder. Probably how... trying to look. Oh, at there you. they are. They're trying to tow them out right there. Probably huh. trying to look at wow. the eclipse while driving. Maybe. Huh. We didn't get to see the car, but it looked like he ran along the guardrail, flipped over, hit a tree, and then went down the hill a little bit. They're trying to pull him out. That's too bad for that guy. It would suck. Yeah, it would. Anyway, here's Shasta Lake, and a mountain, and a bridge, and there's... Shasta Bridge. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's called. But it's fine. like a logical name for it because it's over Shasta Lake. It's called It's called Pitt River Bridge, Jimmy. Okay. Obviously Pitt River yeah, Bridge. I would call it Shasta Bridge if I, or VFW Memorial Bridge. Which is it? <laughs> VFW Memorial Bay Bridge or Pitt River Bridge? My GPS calls it Pitt River Bridge, but the sign says VFW Memorial, Memorial Bridge. Bridge. But I would call it Shasta Bridge because it's uh, a logical name for it. Look at how it's bad the Shasta. look how bad the shutter roll is, Jimmy. <laughs> or rolling shutter. Look how slanted those things are. They're supposed to be straight up and down. That's cool. Actually, I wish it was actually designed that way. So and like this one would be slanted the other way. Anyway, as you can see, the sun is bright again. 
lens well, flares. Well, it was always bright. Well, it was, yeah, it was slightly bright. less bright. The shadows are back to their normal contrast. Well, mostly. Actually, nothing it, is ever normal. Already. It might still be slightly eclipsing. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to look for the, uh, the little flare. the little blue and green lens flares. Where'd they go? There's too many trees. I can't see it. And we're turning, so it's making it even more difficult. Thanks, Jimmy, for turning. You're welcome. I should have just gone straight.